I had a guy that used to do this. He would hold up, like he would be talking to you, and he'd go. Oh, and he would yeah, tighten no, up his no, neck. Don't bro. do that, bro. <laughs> he would just That's be talking to you, and he would just flip yeah, out yeah. time to time. <laughs> oh, dude, yeah. And then I had another guy that when he'd get coked up, he was bald. So he oh. always felt like something was landing on his head. So every eight minutes, he would tell you this, and he would look at, point to his head to tell you that, look, is there a bug? Do you see it like tight? But you can oh, see damn. it. That's what was like he was... wants you to be an investigator for him? Yeah, like, come yeah. on, do I have anything on my head? Let me know. It's like those people that tell you your nose is clean. I got anything on my nose. Yeah. He would look at me. I could, He didn't have to say that. He would, st- <laughs> but let's say he started snorting at 11 with me. Yeah. By 1.30, that would start. He wouldn't get paranoid. He wouldn't drive me crazy. He wouldn't damn. say a lot of shit. He would just tell me that he had a spider on his head. <laughs> and then after two or three hours, he would start smacking his head. Oh, come on, bro. And that's when you would fucking die of laughter. <laughs> when he would smack his own head. Be honest, Joey. After like the first couple of times he asked you, would you just start like looking above his head? Just like, I think there's something on your forehead. Oh, I tortured him for days, that poor bastard. I think he stopped hanging with me because one night he must have smacked himself 90 fucking times oh, for three hours. <laughs> He, almost, he was punching himself in the head because I kept telling him, I'm feeling spiders. I tortured. There was like, I've tortured 18 people when they're high. Even when I'm high, like, I could be fucking stoned. Oh, uh, yeah. The best torture I ever did, ever, in my 55-year existence was to my ex-wife in San Francisco on acid. That was one of the best times I ever had in my life, ever, by myself. I kept telling her, get it together, you gotta pick your father up at the airport. Mm. And she was like, my father's coming in? I mean, it was fucking crazy. That's a good one, too. I had her looking for her keys. (laughs) And then I had a Bruce Lee poster, and I would look at it and look at her and go, (laughs) don't tell him. (laughs) And she would look at me at the Bruce Lee poster (laughs) while I was tormenting her one night, that poor girl. (sighs) You wonder why she hates me with all my fucking heart. I got her on, oh, that's I so got vague and good at the same time. Oh, that's my perfect. God. I got her on one of those 12-hour fucking Grateful Dead hits of acid. Mm. For like nine hours, you're just burning. We oh, were yeah. burning. We were burning. It fucking was 1985. We were burning. A bunch of koalas playing volleyball with your brain, bro. I got it in San Francisco. The first hour and a half is mild, and then it just goes into overdrive. <laughs> and you're seeing shit. You're hearing shit. Yeah. You can't focus on the TV. Only music could be on. Lee, oh. you all right? You feeling anything? I'm just. I'm thinking about uh, how, like, when when you're on acid, how can you torture somebody? Like that's like. <laughs> well, you just think of something that's casual enough, just to catch a little bit of their, uh, just a couple of their senses at the same time, and people will squirrel out, dude. My buddy made us put him in a, um, in a in the out in the yard on a mattress one time. It's the only way he could function dude another buddy of mine took uh took all his clothes off and started driving drove for like five hours do we have no clue where he went and he came back in the morning and he was still you know oh he was out of gas but he was and butt ass naked he's still butt ass naked yeah some people just have to you know they get in the lane when they're when they're on the dust man let me tell you something bro i miss that 